Can Brimstone or any other agent for that matter body block their own Molly or Choctar or whatever? The answer, in fact, is no. I've tried many times to stand in front of it and stop it, and it doesn't work. Even if I come over here and shoot it up, when it comes back down and hits me, it just goes right through me. It lands exactly on that spot. However, Brim's Molly can be blocked by an opponent, so if you see a Brim doing a lineup and have a general idea of where it's coming from, you can stand in front of it and stop it from going on the spike and clutch the round for your teammates. Now, so the shock charts do weird things. If I put a bounce on it, it won't bounce off of me if I actually aim it myself. It doesn't, it doesn't like hit me or anything. It doesn't go back into the wall after I bounce it. It goes right through me. So Sova's shock darts, no matter how many bounces you put on it, that one went under him. That was kind of a trick shot. No matter how many bounces you put onto it, it will explode if it touches them. And surprisingly, his recon darts is the same thing. If I shoot it on someone, it'll stick onto them. If I bounce it onto someone, it will still stick onto them. If I bounce it, bounce it onto somebody, it will still stick onto them. Then other items such as Sage's Flow or will bounce off other people, however they will not bounce off of yourself. Ray's Satchel will even stick to people, however her nade doesn't stick because it doesn't stick to anything. Green Salutations I've encouraged since they were here in the range practicing some myths and not really practicing so you don't practice myths, but we're finding out if myths are real or if they can be busted. And it's going to be great, so make sure you stick around to the end to see all the myths that need to be busted or confirmed. If you have an idea for the myth, leave it in the comments because I need myth ideas because my brain is small. Another myth, Brim's ultimate does more damage to opponents than yourself. We're gonna test it right now. You can hear them die first before I do. Uh, but if I do it again and you listen carefully, you can hear that they will die earlier than me. And this goes into real games too. So if you have to escape somewhere and you want to kill your opponents who are like on top of you or something, for example, a site on Fracture, you are able to escape before your opponents can because your ult does less damage to you than your opponent. By the way, it also does less damage to your teammates. I can't test that because I have no friends, but believe me when I say it. Another kind of sort of myth that you might be interested in is what graphics settings actually do. I do have my FPS limited to 200, so that will affect it. If I walk around on low settings, as you can see here, all my settings are on low. I average around 170 to 190 fps usually I turn everything on i don't know what anti-aliasing setting i should use i'm not a graphics nerd oh my gosh this looks like a different game what the heck but as you can see my fps right now with all of this on i just he heard my computer start doing all kinds of computer things it's dropping down to 150 to 160 uh, as, as you can see over on the left of the graph right now, there was a big frame drop earlier. So if I'm like switching weapons or quickly moving or something like that, you can see my FPS is not having a fun time. I pull out util and everything, it all, it drops down to like 150, which is actually not bad. You might have expected it to go down to like 60, because my computer's an absolute potato. But still, 150 is not that bad. It's a lot more inconsistent, as you saw that giant frame drop right there on the graph. But it is in fact still over 100 FPS and averaging around 150-ish. Look at the beautiful lights, they've got like flavor in them i would still recommend using uh, low graphics because if i go to viper and then ha happened to throw up a wall which is this keybind like such as and then i happen to activate that wall on high settings there's this giant musty must over here but if i turn everything low again as my computer dies of potato poisoning you might observe that there's no more musky musk musty must here which greatly impairs my vision which could be annoying like that one lineup on icebox i think it is i'd recommend low settings they allow you to see stuff like that because there's all that smoke and steam over here and that is that myth sort of busted but proven i guess i don't know what the myth was originally the next myth is that you're unsubscribed and not liked this video yet so go prove that myth false by smashing the like button with all of your fingers and then subscribe too with the rest of your fingers which you don't have anymore because you used all of them to smash the like button. All right, for reals this time, the next myth is, can you actually have any accuracy when you're jumping if you time it right? I'm gonna sit here forever and try to get the timing down on jumping, shooting, and making it go to the center. Right now, it just seems so unrealistic. Like, I'm not getting any, I mean, I'm getting some somewhat near, like, just to the right, just to the left, but that's, like, not perfectly accurate or anything. It's like that one there on the pole that you can see, this one was relatively near to my crosshair when I shot it, but that might just be luck, and you get one every now and then that gets close to your crosshair. So I'm gonna assume that that myth is busted. If you can find a timing or something, go ahead and send it to me, because I'd actually be interested to know if that is possible. The next myth to bring up now, because my friend didn't believe me the other day, is can chambers op one shot to somebody's leg? So if you didn't know, a normal op, when you buy it, and shoot somebody with shield, I don't have to change the bots to have shield here, give them armor. If I, if I shoot them in the toe or anywhere on the leg, it, it does like 125 or something like that. Where did it, what just happened? That didn't look right. You shoot them twice though in order to kill them with an off the leg. However, you shoot in the body and just one shot them, as many of us know. The question is, can Chambers Op do the same thing and shoot them in the leg twice? The other day I told my friend that his Op shots did one shot to the leg and we're gonna see if I'm right right now. Are you kidding? Wait. I actually thought, I was relatively certain that it one shot to the leg. Are you kidding? My life is a lie! Well, there's that myth busted then. Now, one side note to that is that 
Chamber's op actually does do more damage to the leg than a regular op does. Chambers, if you saw those 127, this does 120, which is actually quite interesting. Even if I bring it to like 5 meters, just to show you that it's not like damage drop off or something. There's 120, and then we clear it. 127 from Chambers, which is a weird side note to that myth. Do Chambers TPs have like a height limit? So if I place a TP over here, which as you can see clearly goes down into that area, it would cover it uh, laterally like that. When I go down here, as you can see those yellow bars are at the left and right sides on my screen. Meaning I can teleport, but as I keep going, they eventually disappear. So if you go far enough away in elevation uh, from Chambers TP, it actually won't let you teleport. Like up here I can teleport, but then when I come back down here and go a little bit lower, I can't teleport anymore because it's out of range. Which is a little weird side note in case you wanted to like place a TP here and then place TP up there and then teleport from this one brings you up here. And then if you come over here above this one, this is just an example for pre-game positioning or something, but. Uh, as you can see, I can't teleport here because I'm out of range because I'm too high from it, which is really weird. Now, I'd like to try this theory with Chambers, uh, trip kind of thing, little guy here. But as I said before, my friends are non-existent right now, so I can't really test that yet. One more myth that I feel a dire need to inform everybody of who plays with the broom ever is that Brim can't see marks in his smokes map. As you can see, I'm marked there, but there is no mark on my map anywhere. I can smoke, like, where? Oh, the one on top. I can smoke where I think it is. Or you can show me on the, like right I see here. these marks and everything, but if you mark right if you here. mark somewhere like on the map and then I open my smokes menu, I don't see it. So if I'm in the map or something and you say smoke right on the here. mark that I placed, I can't see that mark unless I open the map and then look over there and then go back into the map and hope that I can get it smoke precisely down. if it was somewhere that's random. So please, if you're ever play, playing with a brim and want to smoke somewhere, give the actual call out for it, like smoke CT spawn or smoke heaven or whatever. Actually give the call out instead of just smoke on mark, just to help us brim mains be not annoyed with you. And in right case here. you're wondering, the same thing goes with the Zolt. You can't see marks on the map. One more thing I thought I'd include with the uh, ult myth earlier, but I didn't do then, I thought of just now, is will brim's molly kill an opponent faster than a teammate? Just like his ult will. As you can see here, they all die before me. It looks like it does two times the speed then, because that thing just, uh, the, the, the one just respawned and then died at the same time that I did. So maybe it does half the amount of damage. It looks like exactly at 50 is when it will, uh, kill them. So I think the Mully and the ult probably as well do half the damage to teammates uh, compared to opponents, which is good to know if you're a Brim main or play with a Brim main. I did a new oopsie. If you go back and look, you'll see the bots at armor. So it actually does three times more damage to opponents than enemies. And this applies for other agents too. Brim Mully, Brim ult, Raise Nade, Raise ult, Viper, Viper Mully, uh, whatever other things do damage to teammates and opponents will all do three times dam more damage to opponents than they do to teammates. Except for things like Viper Wall and Viper ult, which don't do any damage to teammates. Anything that does damage to both will do three times more to opponents. All right, don't forget to leave me comments down below of myths that you would like me to bust because there are a lot of things that probably exist that I can't think of right now because my brain is small. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, click here to watch me play some insane brimstone gameplay. Probably not all my teammates.